welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm actually bringing you guys a highly anticipated and requested video, and that is my Ariana Grande Fragrance Knockout Series. But first, I wanted you guys to say hello to someone who felt the need to come say hi. This is my little kitty Luna. We just recently got her. Oh, hi baby. Hi. She doesn't like being up here, but look at her. She's so pretty. She's got two different colored eyes. If she'll look at the camera, look at there you go. Yeah, hi, baby. She's going to go explore while I film this video. I'm going to let her go kind of roam around. But I wanted you guys to, uh, I wanted to bring this to you guys because I haven't done this. And it's been requested a lot from me that I do the Ariana Grande uh, collection on the Fragrance Knockout series. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I bring you guys celebrity perfume reviews and other perfume reviews, not necessarily just celebrity, but the majority of my collection and channel is celebrity based. This is going to be the entire Ariana Grande collection, including her limited edition fragrances. Um, you're going to be getting from Frankie and like Ari all the way up to Cloud. So I'm taking all seven six of her fragrances, I almost said seven, six of her fragrances, and comparing them side by side into saying which one's my least favorite to which one is my most favorite. So, we go from least to best, and the first one I will say is Frankie. Unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of Frankie. Now, that being said, I do like all of Ari's fragrances in a capacity. Also, I just noticed that that kind of broke. Um... They're all on the sweeter side, which I do like some sweeter fragrances. There's just something about the unisex vibe that was done to Frankie that just throws me off and makes it my least favorite. But then again, I still do really, really like this one. Just because it is a little bit more masculine, but does it is still sweet. Like, it does still have that sweet. Um, this only came out in the 50ml from what I believe. I haven't ever seen it in any other sizes. Every time they do, like, a limited edition set, Frankie doesn't get any love. So I wonder if this is, like, her least favorite one. I know it's named after her brother, but, like, I wonder if this was just, like, um, impromptu thing. Because I know this is, like, the one that doesn't get the most love. So, in at number six is Frankie. In at number five is, unfortunately, Moonlight. Now, I love everything to do with this. I love... The fact that it's like the bottle super iridescent, which of course my studio light doesn't pick up. But if you have this bottle, you know what I mean. It's super iridescent. I love the lavender poof. I love the lavender metal. It's just this one, I'm, there's something about it that I don't wear it as much. I still wear this one quite a lot, actually. Um, I just don't wear this one as much. I wear this more at night. This is kind of like a, if I'm going to stay around the house or go to bed. It's just, this one isn't as, like, this is a little bit more sophisticated sweet, which I like. It's just not my personal cup of tea if I'm going out and about. So, in at number five is Moonlight. In at number four is the original Ari. As you guys can see, this bottle has a pretty big dent in it. Um, this is just so good. It's original Ari. It's the original scent. It's just so good. It's so sweet and just girly and it does follow that traditional celebrity perfume dna but this one is definitely ariana grande um haven't smelled really anything that smells exactly like this um not even similar like i couldn't be like oh this smells like something else in like actual out like nothing smells like this in the celebrity market there's a thing that smells similar but nothing that's like Snooky versus fantasy like nothing like that so in at number four is the original Ari in at number five I guess no I totally screwed these numbers up I said six and I meant seven no I don't I can't count numbers anyway next is Sweet Like Candy limited edition now I like this one because I love the red but let's see if I can get my Every single bottle I've seen chips. Like, this one is chipped on the bottom as well. They all chip. Now, ooh, this one has even got a better chip on this side. Like, they all chip. No matter what you do, they chip. And I don't know what was done with the paint on this. Like, I know it's matte, but I also know that like, candy was matte. So, I don't know what's with this and why, like, it chipped more than anything. Like, and I know some people's, like full like the bottom paint came off and everything like the whole nine yards 
This is a lot like Sweet Like Candy. It's a little bit different. It is not the same scent as Sweet Like Candy. Some people say it is. It is not. There's a definite difference. This is more of a rock candy. It is more of a, like, a hard candy. And I like that, but it definitely is less perfumey than the original Sweet Like Candy. I like it. It's just not my favorite between Sweet Like Candy or Ari, or Sweet Like Candy or this one. I prefer Sweet Like Candy. Um... But also, that's why this is, like, number three. So, see, I can do numbers. And at number two is, let's do it this one, Cloud. Now, this is the brand new one. I am honestly actually obsessed with Cloud. So, this is the 3.4 ounce. This is the 50 milliliter. As you guys know, I just did a review of this within the last month. I've already dented it that much if I can get my camera to focus. Look at that. Like, I've already put a good amount of dent in this. This, to me, smells like... A clean hoodie out of the dryer. Now, what I mean by that is it smells like vanilla. It smells like perfume. It smells like just that goodness that you want, like that girly coziness. But it also has this warm coziness to it like a hoodie out of the dryer. Now, it doesn't smell like dryer sheets. I mean, it's kind of got like a, like a clean scent sort of thing. But it doesn't definitely have like a laundry, like downy scent. This is just a very, like, clean hoodie. I did do a full review of this. I've actually done a full review of all the Ariana Grande fragrances um, on my channel. You guys can find those. But in at number two is um, Cloud. Also, look at the size difference between the 50 mil and the 100 mil. Like, the 100 mil is a massive bottle, you guys. So, in at number one, the only one I haven't talked about yet, is Sweet Like Candy. I am freaking obsessed with Sweet Like Candy. Now, this one is like kind of like how um i said sweet like candy is a hard candy this does have that hard candiness to it but it's got a lot more like sweet perfuminess to it and it kind of rounds out the fragrance and makes it a lot more wearable a lot more girly a lot more soft um i do feel like sweet like candy limited edition is a little bit harder than that and i do prefer my perfumes to be more soft and easy and like cozy, I guess. Um, so in at number one is Sweet Like Candy. I love Sweet Like Candy. It is so, so good. And like, I'll swing around and show you guys my, um, uh, Ariana Grande shelf here in like a second. But like, I am obsessed with the entire Ariana Grande fragrance line. I have, as you guys can see, ooh, right here, um, here, all the way over here is Ariana Grande bags. There's more stuff of Ariana Grande up there. Like, I have so much of this freaking collection because I'm obsessed with her and, like, this entire collection that it's ridiculous. So, um, stay tuned. I'll show you guys a quick swipe at the end of this video of my Ariana Grande shelf. If you guys enjoyed this video or you guys enjoyed this fragrance knockout series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do post videos randomly, not very periodic, like, not scheduled. I'm trying to get better at that. I always say that, but we'll see if that actually happens. Who knows? So anyway, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, a this perfume, and Instagram, among the stars perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. And here is just like a quick pan over of all of my Ariana Grande stuff. The lighting's not the best, but here's some of it. There's other crap everywhere else, but this is the majority of that fragrance collection. Not trying to boast or anything, I just wanted to show you guys what I have. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.